Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'm going to show you how to make this magnificent Lumigurumi or crochet cross. So I have three different examples here, and the one I'm doing in the tutorial is this one here in the middle. So I absolutely love the way that it turns out, and I really think that the metallic bands make it just shine and really stand out. So this is the main front side and I'll show you what it looks like on the back. So it kind of looks cool on both sides but this is the main side that I'm sure you'll want to display. So I think it would be great to make for this time of year to show the true meaning of Christmas. It would also be nice for around Easter or really any time of year. To make your cross you're going to need a hook of some sort so I have the rainbow loom metal hook and then you're going to need a few clips and then as far as my band counts I'm going to be using 45 white, 57 blue, and 24 gold. We're going to begin by making a chain of 44. So I have my 44 bands counted out and this is going to be sort of that underneath layer in the center. So I'll show you an example. So in this one my chain was the teal color. So you can see it's in the middle but it's not on this very top. So you're going to take your first band, you're going to double this on your hook. So just put it on, twist and put it back on. And then you're just going to grab one at a time, pull it through and get the other end back on. So you're just going to repeat this until you have 44 in total. I am counting the first band as one of the 44. And then as you're building this, you want to pull down on the piece that you're forming. And that sort of helps to open up the stitches and keeps your hook from getting caught. So I am just going to let you go ahead and complete your chain. So you can pause your video here and I'll see you back here shortly. In the next part you're going to need 56 bands and this is going to be the outer edge of your cross. So you should have your chain of 44 bands, you should have two loops on the end of your hook, so you're going to take your first band, you're going to pull through, back on, and then you're going to take one end through the other. So just leave that loose, don't make it really tight. And then where we had gone in here, that's going to be the front. And we're always going to be going in through the front of the chain. So in the second chain, we're going to do three single crochets. So it goes through, back on, you're going to have three loops from now on and one will pull through the other two. So we're going back through for a second and then for a third time th when we do the three that's going to form a corner of the cross and this is the bottom that we're starting with. Now we're going to do one single crochet in each of the next seven chains. So I'll count these out with you so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're going to skip this next chain, go into the next chain, we're going to do three of one single crochet, so there's one in that chain, then here's two, and that's in the next chain, and then one more in the next. So where we had skipped, that's actually going to 
make the bend here for it to bend outward. Now we're going to do three single crochet in the next chain. I'm going to make another corner. So one, two, three. And then in the next chain we're going to do three again. So one, two, and three. And then in the next three chains we're doing one each. So one, two, So it's a little bit hard to tell till we get it shaped, but this is the right side we're doing the bottom, and we just completed one arm. And now we're going to repeat this pattern for the top and for the other arm. So we're skipping the next chain. We're going to do one single crochet in the next three. And then in this next chain, there are going to be three in the same chain. Next chain gets three. And now we're going to do one in each for the next three. So now we form the top section here. Now we're skipping the next stitch. Again, we're going to do one in each for the next three. And just make sure as you're doing this, sometimes your chain sort of gets twisted. Just keep running your fingers along and making sure that it's going the same direction so you know that you're going in the front every time. Because if it gets twisted and you don't go in the front, it's going to not work out. So that was our second one since we skipped. So I have one more, and then in the next one we're doing three, and don't worry if you don't think it looks like a cross as you're doing it, because it is kind of a little bit of a mess until we get the center bands in. So here's my second one in that same stitch, or chain, and my third. Next one gets three as well. And now we're going to do three singles. It's going to bring us to the bottom of the other arm and then we're skipping the next chain going into the next and we're doing seven coming back down again keep smoothing your chain if it's getting tangled.
and seven. Now you should have two bands left and we need to connect the end and the beginning. So I'm going to go through this one more time here, this chain, but then I also need to go through where we started the chain. So make sure you're going from front to back, push through the, those two loops, and then this is going to pull through both chains there and one through the other. And then I only want to go through this starting chain here. So ignore the one on the right and just go through the one. So here's what it should look like on the front. Now there is a little bit of a gap in the blue so what I'm going to do to close that is I'm going to take one additional blue band and I'm just going to go through these loops here at the beginning, go under like one or two loops, and I'm going to pull through everything and then do one through the other. And for the moment, I'm just going to take a clip and attach that. In the last part, you're going to need 24 bands, and this is going to be your inside color. So here's what you should have. If it's a little bit twisted, just try and straighten it out, and you should have a sort of cross shape but it's not really going to form the way we want it until we link the opposite sides together. So I'm going to just turn this around here. I'm going to start at the bottom. You want to make sure that your center bands here are lined up straight across from one another. So at the bottom here, I'm going to go through the right side and I have the front side facing me or the correct side, what I'm calling the correct side. So the side that we were pushing through from front to back, I'm considering the back of the cross. So we're working from the opposite side of that. So I'm pushing through what's now the right side. Then I'm going to pick up this loop. You can take off the clip. And then I'm going to come back out on the opposite side, straight across. Take my first band. Gonna pull through everything. Gonna get it about halfway through, and then I'm just gonna take one side and pull it through the other. And I'm just gonna work my way up, going down through the chain on the right. Make sure you're going under both loops, and then coming up through the chain on the left. And we are gonna pull through everything every time what's basically known as a slip stitch and then one through the other. So that's what's going to give us that little bit of a zigzagged look. So up to the next one. Pull through everything. Grab the other end and one through the other. Now with these particular bands that I'm working with, I really love them, they're the metallic bands, but they don't really glide against each other as well as some of the other bands. So with these particular ones, I want to take my time and make sure that they're not getting twisted. Because the smoother that the bands are, the nicer your overall look is going to be. I think at that part right there where you loop one through the other, sometimes they want to twist on themselves. But you can see how it's looking. So we're going to work our way up to the middle and then we're going to put a clip on that and then we'll work our way in from the arms and then also from the top and then once all the bands meet in the middle then we'll tie them all off together.
So you can see here, this is my last one before the band that was the one where we skipped a chain. So I'm going to do this one. And then the one where we had skipped here, it doesn't, it's a chain that doesn't have any bands in it. I'm going to go through that one as well. And then let me just grab a clip. And I'm going to put that on there for now. So you can see we have the bottom done and here's how it's looking. And now I'm going to repeat this process. I'll start on the right arm here. So at the very end here, the tip, the chains, we're going to go through. And then we're just going to work our way into the middle. It's going to be a total of five for each one of the arms and also for the top. So we're going to work our way all the way to the empty chains where we had skipped. So that was three. And that one looks a little twisted. And then one more here. I went through the empty chains. And then once again, I'll add a clip. And now I'll do the top. So again, you're going to do five. Sorry if it seems like I'm going kind of slow here. Just really trying to take my time as I said, and make sure that these bands don't get twisted. I think you have to take a little bit more time and pay a little bit more attention when you're using these bands. But I think the overall look is worth it because they're really just so pretty. So that was my fourth one. I have one more. And you'll see that we will already have a stitch through this empty, well it was empty, chain. It's not empty anymore. They're going to share where they meet here. So the one on the left here is empty, but the one on the right already contained one from this other arm. And I'll add another clip. And then you can straighten these out, do some adjusting. You can see it's really coming along nice. And now we have our last arm here. So you should have five bands left. So that was three.
more. And this is the last one. So now what I have to do is gather up all of these bands. So I'm going to leave this one on my hook. I'm going to grab the next one. I can take off the clip. And I'm going to do one through the other. And then again, grab the next one. I can do one through the other. These look a little bit twisted to me. Next. One through the other. And then finally, what I think I'm going to do is to take my hook out, but don't let go of this. I'm going to go back to the start here. And I'm going to pull that underneath just to close that off. And then once again, I'm going to add a clip to this. So we're just about finished here. I'm going to take one more of my center color here, the underneath color. So I have white. And from the back, I'm going to reach up through. I'm going to grab this loop. Take off the clip now. And I'm going to pull this through to the back and then I'm going to go underneath just any loops here and I'm going to pull through everything and make a nice untied slip knot. So then I need to hide this so I'm just going to go under these loops on the back and just thread this through until it's hidden. And then your cross is complete. So you can see that it is curling just very slightly along the edges and what you can do to counteract that is just take a minute and go the opposite direction and then it should lay relatively flat. I hope that everyone loves their new crosses. You can leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, and you can share pictures on my Facebook page. I really love to see everybody's creations. And please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well and then you can share your pictures and comments there too. Thanks for watching!